Air quality. Air pollution is harmful to humans and other living things. In fact, years of exposure to polluted air can weaken a human's immune system and cause respiratory diseases such as asthma. When the pollution source is identified, this is called point source pollution. Examples of point source pollution include smokestacks of large factories or power plants that burn fossil fuel. Um, they also release tons of polluting gases and particles into the air each day, right? An example of a natural occurring point source pollution would be an erupting volcano, which spews gases and ashes into the air. Now, when pollution comes from a widespread area, then it is determined to be a non-point source pollution. An example would be a large city where there are many contributing factories to air pollution and it can't be traced back to one source. The harmful effects of air pollution are not just limited to human health, but can also damage plants if pollutants get into the ground. It can damage marine life if it gets into the water and it can damage structures when in the form of acid precipitation and smog. Majority of air pollution comes from the burning of fossil fuels such as coal, gasoline, diesel fuels, and these result in pollutants that include carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides. Acid precipitation, also known as acid rain, is when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide combine with moisture in the atmosphere, and it results in a pH lower than that of normal rainwater. This can negatively affect the chemistry of water in lakes and rivers and can harm the organisms in the water. The rain can also damage buildings and other structures that are made of stone. While some acid rain is created naturally by volcanoes, the most common source is automobile exhaust and power plant smoke. Air pollution that forms from the interactions between chemicals in the air and sunlight is smog or photochemical smog. Smog forms when nitrogen dioxide, which is released from exhaust of gasoline engines, react with sunlight. A series of chemical reactions will produce ozone and other com compounds that form smog. Smog in urban areas reduces visibility and makes air very difficult to breathe. Particulates in the air, such as dust and other chemicals, can also be hazardous to human health. The smallest particles are the most harmful because they can be inhaled into your lungs. They cause asthma, bronchitis, and can even lead to heart attacks. Particulate matter in the atmosphere absorbs and scatters sunlight, which creates a haze. Haze particles scatter light, making things blurry and reduce visibility. Many times when you check the weather during the day, there is now an air quality index. And this is an index that reports daily air quality in order to alert people that have various allergies or respiratory disorders to when the air quality becomes too dangerous to go outside. Maintaining healthy air quality takes everybody's cooperation. This includes government officials, scientists, and the general public. In 1970, the Clean Air Act became a law which includes steps to reduce automobile emissions and factory emissions. This law allowed the government to set air quality standards, and these standards were created to protect humans, animals, plants, and buildings from the harmful, farm, or the harmful effects of air pollution. Over the last several decades, air quality in U.S. cities has improved and hopefully will continue to do so with more education and better advances in technology to reduce fossil fuel. We've reached the end of this section. It's time for you to show what you know.